Good day to you, dear people. This is Kate, Kathy Fabian speaking to you from the Rose Studio, her living, working studio. Just a second, I'm going to lower the music a little. <laughs> so I've been busy, 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 busy. And I've been uh, working on my collection of international Canadian and Quebecois art. So I, I'm going to be doing right now a real quick inventory and uh, see what I've got until now. And as I do so, I will talk to you about my work and stuff. So I had a lot of uh, input from this residence came in recently. Uh, we're in a transitional stage here and uh, this, the, the, the home is they're talk they're trying to they want the community is left and they want to sell the home so people have been giving away a lot of stuff mostly a lot of artwork so i've been receiving all these uh actually magazines with uh, all sorts of beautiful prints in them so i've been busy as a as a beaver uh taking out copies of, of these prints this particular, as I'm go going through these, these ones are, uh, I think, are actually of my older collection, which I have also of, of the collection, the work that I had before. Hold on, let me, let me dress up my hand a little as I uh, turn it, the pages, the one that turns the pages. I had the jewelry on the other side. Yes, this is the uh, they having working with a uh, Quebecois, Canadian, and international prints, as well as my own collection of work. Right now, we're hitting Quebecois artists, and these uh, th this particular because I've had some uh, problems in the past with rights to do things and stuff. Uh, this will be going into my personal library. Uh, they're just prints of of the of the work here. I like to use these things uh, for my own reference. When we talk about Quebecois art, which I, I've had some very strongly opinionated people uh, come into my situation, and I lost a fair amount of work and money. <clears throat> when we talk about Quebecois and art, um, I like to I like to go through what what, what we're talking about, what is considered uh, regional artists, and uh, what is appropriate. You know what we're talking about where this person where these people it was a bunch of people stand as vis-a-vis -vis, uh rights and everything's like that so i have i, I want to see i kind of want to see where they're where they're coming from so i i've been i've been uh, actually it's not enough to get these little magazine pictures and i'm certainly not wealthy living below the poverty line to be able to to buy these beautiful works of art. So I have at least uh, a humble resource of, of art, of magazines that uh, people leave to distribute, uh, like in, in situations when they leave, uh, when they leave or they want to, pa or they pass away or some stuff like that. And I, I thought to myself, it, it's okay and fine to have it in a magazine format, but I would prefer to have it more sizable so I could look at it. So that's what I've been doing. This is actually interesting. These kind, this is another kind of uh, artwork that I'm collecting. These are uh, crayons. They have fill in the fill in fill in the lines. These are usually white paper, and uh, people come in and, and color them in with mostly uh, pencils. This particular print is from another collection of of, of uh, illustrations I found in a vintage book. Also uh, given to, given away, so they were free. I have another 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 kind of collection of art, also regional, and that's uh, as you see over here. I these are from greeting cards, and I blow them up to look at them. I consider the the text secondary. I keep it in. I'm not going to be getting rid of of of, uh, of signatures. You see over here the signature and I just have my name and, and the date I, 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 I printed it out here. I don't need to worry about it. If I can, 
if you properly put it in, I, I will, uh, I will even keep the title. This happens to be my work. This is actually taken from uh, one of the photographs I took around the quarter. Uh, I live in the Plateau Mont Royal, and uh, they've had a couple of uh, people uh, p putting up these lovely chairs so that people could could just rest if they when they're doing their errands, and. Uh, I, I printed out, uh, I, I took this one and I worked, reworked it to make it into sketches. I was working to see uh, which one would, would be the most uh, beautiful for, for in my estimation. So I had different, different kinds of, uh, different kinds of techniques and trials to see what I like the best. And then when I found it, uh, I printed out a number, a number of the same uh, series. But I, I did a couple of essays. My shoes hurt. In the background, I have some beautiful music, work from home, instrumental. That's on. Yeah, I have a ton. You see, the one of the things I'm dealing with is I have old old printer's ink, and I want to to print out stuff as fast as possible to use it up. The date, the expiry date. This is actually one of my work. It's a self portrait. It's on a photographic paper. The rest is on printing paper. You see, I wanted to. Uh, I was not satisfied with the self portrait I have in my room. I have a little kind of art biographical space in the Rose Studio. And uh, one of the things I have there is a picture of me now. So I, I made a couple of trials to see which one, which one I would, uh, would look the best. These are not in a particular order, which they should be. However, <laughs> this is an inside. Maybe I'll start putting them in order. This is outside. I have several categories after some 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 deliberation I put uh, I, I figured out some categories so that I could uh, um, find things better uh, anything with animals is plants and animals anything uh, then I have people I have inside I have outside I have objects I have abstract I have dining and I have jewelry so I put plants and animals together because uh, there's not that many of either of them. This is a this is a work that uh, I, I did actually. This was taken from the internet, and I clipped it out. I was actually working uh, on my exhibition for the uh, in the Rose Studio, which is my collection of current work, and I thought this time for the for celebration of the summer and because I like them. I'm doing cut flowers. I'm going to show you this one. I see there's a, there's a little light. I've been working to separate uh, my collections. I have actually, <laughs> much to my surprise, amassed three collections, three solid collections of works. I have um, my personal current work, like this one you see here. As I put something in the wall, I only I do I don't do only one. Uh, one printout to see what to do. I do several, starting on four by six paper, and uh, then on regular printing paper. And finally, sometimes, uh, like in this one, it'll be on the printing paper. And this one, I liked it better to uh, just on the, uh, this one was actually photographic paper. And this one I like better on the printing paper. But it doesn't, it doesn't come, it doesn't come right away. Uh, the results, sometimes as you see here, the printer stopped. So I have half a, an image, which I thought it was interesting anyways. Here's, this is a, this is from a collection of cards. And uh, I don't know, it's always, it's relatively small ca cards. So I blew it up. I mostly get my cards at this time. Uh, again, they, they were donated, these. So. I, what the interesting thing about donated cards is someone else's uh, someone else's opinion uh, chooses it, 
And uh, when I get the cards that are donated, they usually... Well, I also go to the thrift shop once in a while, or did many years ago. I've been refining that collection. But I also have them here. Periodically, people leave cards here. And I like it because it gives me an idea of what the community thinks. You know, they have their own opinion of what is, what is a suitable greeting card. And that's a little bit of an input of, of their mysterious... <laughs> way of thinking which are often quite touching like these horses you have I had one lady she spoke to me she said she was actually uh, doing a catch question she was very much involved with horses which you no. Know, she's a lady that doesn't deal much with artifice she will not wear makeup and stuff so that makes sense I said that makes sense so my category of plants and animal anything that has an animal like this horse you could have this outside but because it has horses I'll keep it for, for, for animals. Now here's jewelry. These are these I'm gonna these I'm gonna leave these to do afterwards because I didn't uh, I was busy thinking of what to do. But since you see I've taken the opportunity of making my bed to use this all this wonderful white expanse to finally uh, get my quick real quick inventory and uh, file these. Because I too have some things to do as, as the house gets sold. I have to try to streamline things so that I don't have as much stuff. I, I, you know, it's, it's better to or better organizing. Okay, these are things of the jewelry collection. And this is the inside collection coming up. I, I change horizontal and vertical. This is actually mandelas, which are actually crayonings here. I think it would put an object or abstract. I don't know. I put in both and then I figure it out later. Why not Mandela? Okay, Mandela's. And then I uh, have that here. Look at the delicateness of the colors. Sometimes they come out. This is object, definitely. It's the, I think, the, the, what is it? The, the evil eye. I don't know. It's certainly a, a, from the Middle East. It's a magical symbol objects this is objects this is from a standard greeting card here's another hand this looks indian objects Quebecois collection this is actually from a magazine objects this is from a drawing penciled in drawing here i did two times and here i have made, fooled around with a mandela this is actually a photo montage. No, it's a collage. And this, I want to keep this in a separate. This is one of my original collages. And here we have outside again. I'm running out of space. <laughs> Let's move it. When I finish with this, it'll go duly go into files. And I've, I've been wondering what to do with uh, how to, like you could file, this is another kind of, of one of my, I took my photograph and uh, I worked on it uh, on the computer to create a print-like image, a, a drawing-like image. I did, I did. I chose two subjects, and this is the other one, the second one. There's different kinds of essays. I had all this yellow paper, so the challenge was to see what would look nice on yellow paper. This is the Quebecois collection of artists and outside as well here again here it says the name Adrian Ebert which I like this one especially because it's a uh, urban and it's actually I know it's not it doesn't have to be modern it looks more modern to me compared to this one which is more a traditional work this is an abstract. This is people. I think I would put it under. I'm not sure. No. I, I think this is more of an abstract, a semi-abstract and abstract. I could put that together. I've had this in, in for a long time before I printed it out. This is a much more standard to, that you find. Uh, more, more commonly of outside 
and here again is his uh, people and this is these were essays to see what I would place in my room and I think I finish off finally with plants and animals here this is from the uh, crayon crayonings they have plants and animals a book illustration crayoning these are the beautiful delicate sketches done in pencil I usually uh, make a print of, of, of these things and I will use them in my collage. I will uh, use them as elements of my own artwork. As I create a collage, I've actually bought an 18 by 24 sketch pad, which is much larger than all the other paper I've worked on. And I'm very satisfied with the results. I've had a great deal of difficulty uh, working with these eight by a half, 11 images and, and magazine pictures because they're much too big for the paper. But now uh, it's a new era when I have my 18 by 24 and I'm using a lot of things that I've kept for a long time because they're just not nice. So this is KV, Kathy Fabian speaking to you from the Rose Studio, uh, my living, working space. I've been also working on fixing up my display of perfume bottles. I hope you have a good day. It's now a balmy 29 degrees outside which is pretty hot. It was 31 yesterday. I understand in Vancouver, it went up to 47 degrees centigrade. So if you're in any place like me, please keep cool and keep cool yourself, you know, don't get hassled. And I'll speak to you again soon. This is Kathy Fabian speaking to you from the Rose Studio. This has been a very, real quick inventory on the last day of June, 2021. June 30th, 21, 2021. Enjoy your day.